Is your GE refrigerator not cooling? This is Eric with Parts Doctor, and today we're going to show you the top five things to check. The first component we recommend checking would be the evaporator fan motor. The evaporator fan motors in both the freezer and refrigerator compartments draw cold air across the evaporator cooling coils. After the air is cooled, it is circulated inside the freezer and refrigerator compartments. If either of the fan motors fail, cold air will not circulate and the refrigerator will not cool properly. Our refrigerator has fan motors in both sections, but some refrigerators may only have one located in the freezer section that is responsible for distributing air to both compartments. The fresh food fan motor is built into the evaporator cover assembly in the fresh food compartment. The freezer fan motor is located in the back of the freezer compartment behind this cover. We have videos on how to access both fan motors linked in the description below. To quickly test if the fan motor is working, open the freezer door. If the door is open, the fan should turn off. Now, depress the door switch to simulate the door being closed. With the switch held down, look or listen to ensure the fan motor is running. If it is not running, the fan motor will need to be tested for voltage to make sure it is getting adequate power, which confirms whether or not the fan motor has failed. Next, let's look at the compressor start relay. The compressor start relay helps send power to the compressor so that it starts and runs properly. If it fails, the compressor will not start, causing the freezer and refrigerator sections to not cool. Here are some things to look for if you think you have a bad start relay. You will not be able to hear the compressor running, and there may be intermittent clicking coming from the compressor. Please check out our other video that goes in depth on how to test the start relay. Next, let's look at the automatic defrost components. The automatic defrost cycle prevents excess frost from building up on the evaporator cooling coil by undergoing a defrost cycle on a regular basis. If any of these components fail, the automatic defrost cycle will not occur, causing excess ice and frost to build up over time. Eventually, the buildup will prevent air from flowing across the evaporator coil, which will cause the refrigerator not to cool properly. To tell whether or not your refrigerator is defrosting properly, you'll need to remove the evaporator covers in order to inspect the evaporator coils for excess frost buildup. The automatic defrost cycle is made up of four components. The defrost heater, defrost thermostat, defrost thermistor, and the main control board. We have videos detailing testing for the defrost heater, thermostat, and thermistor, which we'll leave linked in the description below. Please note that after completing a defrost component repair, you'll need to manually defrost the evaporator coil so that the system is able to get caught up. Now, let's look at the condenser fan motor. The condenser fan motor is located on the back of the refrigerator near the compressor. Its job is to blow air across the condenser coil to dissipate heat. If the fan motor fails, the heat will not dissipate effectively, which will cause the refrigerator not to cool properly or may stop cooling altogether. In order to check if your fan motor is working, you'll need to remove the refrigerator's rear cover so that you can visually inspect the motor. If the motor is not running, it may have failed. The fan motor will need to be tested for voltage to make sure it is getting adequate power. This will confirm whether or not the fan motor has failed. Finally, let's take a look at the temperature sensor thermistor. Temperature sensor thermistors are responsible for monitoring temperatures in different areas of the refrigerator. The temperature taken by the sensors is communicated to the main control board, which uses that information to regulate the refrigerator's cooling cycles. If one of the thermistor fails, the refrigerator may not cool properly. Thermistors require a specific testing method that includes the use of a multimeter. You can check out our other video that explains how. If you need to purchase new parts for your refrigerator, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you are getting the correct part. Let us know in the comments below on which one of these parts was causing your refrigerator not to cool properly. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and please consider subscribing.